Hello friends. In this video, we'll start creating the intermediate certificate that we will create from the root certificate. Now, as I have said in the previous video that the root certificate has one objective is that to create one or more intermediate certificate, sign and trust one or more intermediate certificate. And this intermediate certificate will sign and trust other certificates. Now, the first thing we need to do is that we need to create an OpenSSL file configuration that suits uh, the, the, the intermediate certificate. And the easiest way to do that is that we need to copy the OpenSSL file of the root certificate. We copy it here and then we make it, we copy it on the intermediate uh, folder and then we make some changes that suitable for the intermediate certificate. So let's start. Okay, we have copied it. Now we need to open it. Okay, now there are a few changes we need to make. Here in the directory, we need to make it intermediate. And here, as the root certificate, we need to make it intermediate. Uh, I need to draw your attention to one point that, uh, as I said before in the previous videos, when we were saving the uh, intermediate certificate in the, cl the client side, on the application side, if the operating system of the client machine using a uh, Windows operating system Windows in general doesn't like the extension .pem. It prefers the extension .crt. So it's better from this stage that you make the extension of the intermediate certificate with .crt. Okay, now next thing is that we need to, the root key, we make it intermediate key.pem. And the last thing is that we need to make here intermediate underscore dot ca that's it these are the changes that we need to make that will suit the intermediate certificate control x yes enter now we need to create a few folders in the intermediate directory to use them later so do, uh, intermediate private folder that we will save in the keys and uh, another folder is the certs that we will save all the certificates that we will make from the intermediate certificate and the CSR certificate signing request okay okay now uh, we create the first thing which is the intermediate key the private folder and we call it intermediate key.pem and we give it a 4096 bit of for encryption we put a passphrase on it confirm it remember if you are using a bouncy castle bc fks then you don't have uh, to uh, remove the passphrase if you are using a pkcs12 key store type then you have to remove the passphrase of all the certificates and the keys and since i have done the key store on this server machine using the java default provider using the pkcs12 key store type then i need to remove the passphrase of this key, intermediate key And 
the out file will be seen. Put the passphrase of the intermediate key. Okay, done. We have removed the passphrase. Now we need to limit the access to this key with ch mode 600 only for root. Now the next step is that we need to create a certificate signing request, the CSR. Now remember we said that the root certificate will uh, create the intermediate certificate and authorize it to create other certificate. So it's like one company authorize another company. So here we have one point important. The common name of the root certificate should be different than the common name of the intermediate certificate because they are two different entities okay so when we create the CSR we will make an entity that is unique than the root certificate entity and we will see it in a moment okay this is the code to create the uh, CSR and it is sudo actually not suo So sudo open is a request, request for a certificate signing request, and we will use here, give attention to this config, we will use the intermediate open SSL.cnf file because we now we are creating an intermediate certificate, so we need to use this configuration file of the open SSL. And the key we will use it, we have just created it, and the output file we will put it at the CSR folder okay now here we should give the details of the the second uh, let's say the, the intermediate certificate or the entity that will sign and request sign and trust other certificate so the details here should be different especially the common name should be different than the details of the root certificate and the common name of the root certificate but here for uh, tutorial purposes I'm using the same thing just for uh, time purposes in your case you should use a different entity details Common name, as I said, should be different in your case, but in my case, just for tutorial purposes, I'm using the same thing. And the email. Okay, now we have finished the CSR, the certificate signing request for this entity and this entity will sign and request all the remaining whatever certificates we will issue it will be signed and trusted by this intermediate certificate and the root certificate we will forget totally about we will not use anymore to sign and trust any certificate other than the intermediate certificate the next step is that we need to create the intermediate certificate with this code okay as you can see here the code contains the type of the certificate which is this type x509 and the extension file also we will use it the configuration is the openss file of the intermediate certificate and the extension it is it's a very important point you need to give it v3 intermediate underscore ca and then we will sign and trust this intermediate certificate with the root certificate with the key of it and then we give it a, na a number, a serial number for the certificate, and we choose the period of this intermediate, uh, usually a half the uh, period of the root certificate, the root we made it 10 years, here we make it 5 years, and then we use the 
the intermediate CSR, so it requests signing request, and we make it as a dot CRT finally. Okay, now we have got our uh, intermediate certificate. First, let's change the mode of it. Triple four. Okay, we have changed the mode. Again, if you wish to uh, check the details of the of this certificate, then this is the code as we have said before. And uh, this is the code where you can open the intermediate certificate and check all the details of it of course this intermediate certificate can sign and trust other certificate this is the objective of the intermediate certificate on behalf of the root certificate because the root certificate and the root key we will forget totally about them from now on once we have the intermediate certificate now the next step is that we need to verify that this intermediate certificate have been signed and trusted by the root certificate and the way to do that is open SSL verify .ca file and the search root cert .crt and the intermediate search intermediate cert.crt now this code will verify to us that this intermediate certificate have been truly signed and trusted by this root certificate using this code verify and the certificate authority file if we get okay that means it's true this intermediate have been signed and trusted by the root otherwise if we don't get okay we have to repeat all the process from top to bottom okay we have got okay now we are good the next step is that we need to create a trust chain certificate now what this trust chain certificate usually when a browser see a certificate from any company let's say this certificate have been trusted by the intermediate certificate signed and trusted by the intermediate certificate now the browser needs also to check that this intermediate certificate have been signed and trusted by the root certificate this root certificate should be presented in the web browser so this is the whole meaning of the chain of trust certificate and the way to do that is that we need to concatenate the intermediate certificate to the root certificate with this code okay then this is the line of the code to create the root chain certificate and it consists of the cabin concatenating this root code the intermediate certificate the root certificate and then you create the root chain certificate by the way you can give it whichever name you wish i choose this name randomly you can select whichever name uh, but i want to draw your attention to one point sometimes when you do this code you get a permission denied now if you get that permission denied what you need to do is that you enter as a root by sudo dash s then you enter the root password then you use this code and then you get back to the user by su dot the user so if you use this code and you get permission denied enter as a root sudo dash s enter the password of the root then use this code make the root chain certificate then get back again and exit from the root and get back to the user to the sudo user by su sudo user okay let's see now we have got permission denied so what we need to do is sudo dash s now we are root let's uh, do the 
code again we'll do cat intermediate intermediate search You see here now we entered as a, uh, a root. We will concatenate the intermediate certificate to the root certificate and we place it in this directory by this name which you can select as you wish. Okay, done. Now we get back to our user which is the sudo user. That's it that now we have created our chain of trust certificate. Uh, you can change the mode of it if you wish. Enter again as a sudo or not if you don't want. Okay, now this root chain certificate, as I said, when the server see a certificate from any website, it will look to the intermediate certificate that signed and trust this certificate but the serve the website the, uh, the browser also need to check that this intermediate certificate have been signed and trusted by the root certificate which is available in the browser the browser recognize this root certificate this is the whole trust uh, the whole point of the trust chain now Reaching here, we have created our intermediate key, intermediate certificate. We verified that this intermediate certificate have been signed and trusted by the root certificate. And we created a root chain certificate. And from now on, we will create all the certificates from this intermediate certificate and no more about the root certificate. Thank you very much.